Hi, this is Kevin KDM GM owner, Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com, join for free today and start advertising for free. Today is Tuesday, January the 16th, 24, and I got attacked one time during the night and I defend it. So I am already ahead of the ballgame. I already got five attacks. Um, I thought I consumed an energy NFT last night, but evidently I didn't. So let's go look at my last claim. I claimed 581 parts, 220 comps, which they're pretty much the same except the comp you can't take off site. So I always spend those first. This is a claim and burn game. Uh, and I got 9.56 shard. And I burned, uh, I went through 16.83 uh, scavenger golems are slowly crumbling. And so I did 175 comp. So that number is basically 168.3. So I just do 175. That way I always, I'm inching my way up to 300 up here on the scavenger golems. The scavenger golems are what gets you your, uh, or mines the uh, parts between claims. And that's the max stash that I can have that's attached to the banked. So I got plenty of room. I, I claim twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. Um, my reputation is are my levels 25 working my back way back to 50 now i think i'm maxed out because it should be 55 and it didn't so we'll find out when i go up to prestige 10 i think that's the, the max i get um let's see what else is there scavenger uh reputation that's my experience points that's where i'm at on that i, I usually put about 100 parts on that and i'm going to be working on the fortification today and what I've been doing is slowly adding a little bit to the golem charging station because that's so high and I'll eventually get to 18 and with that let's go do some battles I got five battles I'm at 0.54 shards per hour 33.8 parts per hour that's what they're mining and I already got one quest that's a daily quest I've already completed the the main quest and these you get every day you get one a day I think is how that works out so let's go and I do between 70 and 80 right now on the um, defense or fortification whatever you want to call it and that gives me a 60 to 80 percent chance to win and it will show you right on it and see I'm, I'm between 60 and 80 I could go a hundred percent by going lower or I could go higher and get less of a chance to win and Either way you go, you get more or less parts during your battle. And I'm happy with 60 to 80. So let's, oh, and I got to do stash. I like to max out the stash. So that's all I'm doing. I'm not picking on anybody in particular. I just go by this and then this and whatever. And then I just line you up and go down the pack. See, all these have already been attacked. So I'll go down to this symbol right here means they've been attacked. So I'll go ahead and attack this guy. Or girl, depending on whoever it is. And, oh, I got to. All right, there we go. So I got, uh, I had like 18 attacks last night. That's how come I ended up with 700 parts. Now, that's a loss. So, but I'm, I'm already ahead of the ball game because nobody was able to defeat me in battle last night with only having been attacked once. The higher your fortification is and your faith, that the harder it is for them to succeed with you. That's a victory. And 22 parts. So the only two way to get parts, well, three, you can buy them off the market, off the hive engine, swap them and stuff. Or uh, you battle and you mine. And the, the crumbling golems scavenger golems those are the ones you want to stock up on the more you have the more parts they get but they disintegrate over time so you always got to be replenishing them with parts that uh thumbnail that you saw yesterday if my last video if you haven't seen it that is an ai generated picture uh, i i had five ai generated freebies on uh i forget the name of the platform i just wanted to try it out it was pretty neat uh, they want $20 a month, <laughs> so I don't, 
I don't know if I want to spend that for AI generated pictures right now but I can just get them off the uh, the internet okay and that was my last attack so let's see what my totals are 466.6 let's claim and this will also complete this quest because I need to claim one half one more stash for a total of two I did one last night I've already burned the 10 parts comps for scavenger golems Usually that means I got attacked. Let's see what happens. No. Nope. Okay, got it. And I got 10 shards roughly. And I can now the quest logs, when you complete them on the daily quest logs, you have to pay for them in shard. Uh, which I don't do it unless it's something I absolutely need. Like this ain't too bad. Five shard and I'll get 66 reputation. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and spend that. I don't like to spend shard if I don't have to, but when they start wanting 30, 40, 50 shards, I'm not going to do it. But five, I'll give them it. And that's going to help my experience points. See right there. Now I get to reveal everything I got. I got the reputation right there, and then I got this NFT, and this is a Cronus Scout. I don't use Scouts. I, I pretty much like to sell them for Hive, if possible, unless it's so bound to me. And the way you can tell if it's so bound is if you go into your inventory, like I'm about to do right here, and it's got this chain in the corner. That means you can't sell it, but everything else goes. So that, yeah, that is so bound. So I might, you know what, I might use one today. I might try it for the first time. Um, let's go back and now this is a claim and burn game. You got to burn at least eighty percent of whatever you claim, or you're going to get fined or penalized in some way, shape, or form. I've never bothered to figure out what the penalization is because I just burn eighty percent. Keep it very simple, you know. Some people will figure it out and take out the twenty percent maximum. Uh, now you can take out a hundred percent, but then you're going to get penalized. Just be warned about that. So let's do the scavenger golems first. Here's what I claimed. 403 parts, 153 comp. 9 and 11 shards, 9.11. So 16.87 would be 168 parts to get back. Actually, 169. I'm going to do 175. So let's open that up. And for some reason, I got to log in. That's weird. Why would I have to log in halfway through? Uh, what time is it? Oh, maybe at 8 o'clock it kicks you out. I don't know. This is the first time this has ever happened. Okay, let me, let me solve the puzzle. I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if it's recording this. But let me take care of it and get it logged back in. There we go. Okay. So I've, yeah, I've done the quest already. What was I about to do? Oh, the scavenger golems. 175. So I'm going to do all 100. I get rid of these first since you can't take them off anyway. You can't even stake them. you got to burn them pretty much. It's the only thing you can do with them. I mean, you could save them, but... Why? There's no interest on saving them. There's no. There's nothing you, that I can see would be a benefit of saving them. Okay, so I'm going to need another 25 out of this one. And that will roughly give me 180, but I don't care. Let's do 24. Make it a clean 380 left. Now, I've been saying this game is $10 to join, but I think it's 20 now. That was when I first started. I, I was part of the alpha group. I wasn't the first day group, but I was a part of that first week group, I think. And uh, so I think they've moved up. It's $20 now, but you can get you still get your money back by selling off your parts and your shards. 
if that's what you're into. If not, just you know, spend the 20. But you, you need to get in on this. This is, I, I hope, land is coming. This game is perfect for land if they if they decide to go that route, if he decides to go that route. Um, I hope he does. But all, everything so far that he's done has just gotten better and better. Okay, what am I doing next? Let's do the reputation. I already got 66 on the um, the daily quest. So I'm going to do 100 anyway. So that would give me really good experience points per hour. Because these crumble too, just like the scavenger golems. The only things that don't crumble is power, fortification, charging station, and faith, and bank. So the scavenger goes reputation, you're constantly refilling. These you just spend to upgrade them type thing. So I got, I'm getting almost 12 experience points an hour. So I'll probably be up to 30th level by tomorrow or tomorrow night. All right, now with the leftover, I've got 279. So let's do 29 into bank because I love to save crypto. I just do. I really don't need to do this. I got plenty of stash. But I like that number to grow. And just imagine parts one day go up to a dollar a piece, which will never happen because it's it's unlimited. Um, we do burn. Actually, I'll go show you how much we burn when I get done with this. 250. I'm going to put that on my fortification. Yeah, I'll put it on fortification. And so tonight, that will upgrade. But let's go look at this while that's... Uh, well, let's wait. Sometimes it messes it up. Yeah. So now I'm, I'm 95 fortification, but I'm really 76. The plus 19 comes from my prestige. And as my levels go up, that will go higher also. Okay, let's go check this out. We have burned 95% of all parts in existence. 95%. 2.5% is, or 3% circulating, 2% staked. And 42% of the 3% is in pools, which probably I should check into. I, I don't, I, I have to check into that, see why that's there. Um, here's what's minted today. 2,644,935. But we burned 44 million or, or 4 million, almost double what we made. So that's that's the game in a nutshell. The shards now are a little bit different. We're burned 57%. That's why these are more valuable. The, the shards are because there's a lot less of them. There is an unlimited supply, but just like Ethereum... If if the demand becomes greater than what they can print a day, the value goes up. And that's that's what you're going to see here. Same thing can happen here, but uh, more likely here. We only got one new player today or in the last 24 hours. But we 2,400 of us are active. And then the crates, I don't really pay attention to, but... One was only minted, 33 opened. So it's a relatively new game. If you haven't joined yet, come come join. Help us build this. If you have already are playing, leave a comment below, uh, good or bad, or what I'm doing wrong or right, or a question. If you get a chance, go check out Pro Advertisers Club. And thank you for watching. I'm a big understander of time and the fact that you even spent a second watching this. I'm much appreciative. And have a nice day.